Hey there, thanks for being here. In today's video, I'm going to be going over three brand new public projects that are coming into the city of Cape Coral right now. The city's doing a wonderful job in expanding some of our parks, and uh, we've got three new community parks that are going in that are just going to be fantastic. I'm very excited about them. Two have already broken ground, and one of them set to break ground here in just a few months. Uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Dustin Guthrie. I'm a near 20 year real estate broker here in Cape Coral and Southwest Florida in general. Uh, put out a video like this every single week, just uh, really good informational topics on, on a variety of different things here about Southwest Florida. So if you're interested in Southwest Florida, maybe you're up north and planning on moving to Fort Myers or maybe moving to, moving to Cape Coral or moving to Punta Gorda, something like that, and you're interested in Southwest Florida, uh, reach over and hit that subscribe button because I think you'll get a lot out of being subscribed to, to this channel. I uh, try to create a lot of value with these videos just in the hopes that when it does come time where you do need a realtor here in Southwest Florida, if you're buying or selling a place, residential, commercial, whatever, uh, maybe you'll remember these videos, think of me and reach out and give me a call. My contact information is down there in the description of the video. You can call, text, or email me anytime, whatever it takes. There's also a, a link down there if you want to schedule a Zoom meeting in the future if maybe you're not in the area right now. So definitely make use of that. And uh, let's go ahead and get into these uh, brand new public projects. Uh, if you're not aware, a few years ago in 2018, we as the citizens here in Cape Coral voted for a $60 million expansion to our existing beautiful parks that we have here. It actually included money for renovations and upgrades to 16 of the existing ones that we had here, but it also included funds for seven brand new neighborhood parks and then three great big community parks that have uh, some really neat amenities in it. So I'm gonna be going over those three big community parks. And uh, like I said, two of them have already broken ground recently and the third one's set to break ground here. Uh, not uh, not too far in the future, just a few months. So let's get right into that with the first community park. Okay, so our first new Cape Coral project is already underway right now in the northeast section of the city. Yellow Fever Creek Preserve. It's, uh, it's an over $6 million project. It covers about 48 acres within an area of natural wetlands and woods. It's centered around a huge reservoir and the amenities are designed to make use of the natural surroundings. It starts with a large welcome center at the back of the reservoir and from there there will be multiple campground sites with restrooms and showers, walking and hiking paths and trails throughout the property and even a huge frisbee golf course down on the southwestern corner of the area. All this beautiful natural area is right here in the middle of the city. This is right off of the Del Prado extension in the Northeast Cape across from the Coral Isles community. I frequently hear some of the longtime residents here in Cape Coral complain about how much development has been taking over some of the natural land here in recent years. So having this nature focused project right here in the middle of the city is really a breath of fresh air and I can't wait to see how it turns out. Uh, as I mentioned, this project is already well underway and it looks like they're going to be finished with this sometime in the summer in just a few months and here in summer 2024. Uh, I'll be sure to do another video on the unique project once it's finished, so uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. So I'm pretty excited about this one as a tennis player, but this is the Lake Kennedy Racket Center behind me. And it's actually of the three that I'm talking about today, this one's gonna be finished first. They've been working on this one for a while. It's gonna be completed in June, in just a couple of months, June, 2024. And uh, there's gonna be 12 tennis courts here, hard court tennis courts, strictly tennis courts. They're gonna also have 32 different pickleball courts uh, here, brand new pickleball courts. I know we've got a lot of pickleball players here in Southwest Florida, so they're undoubtedly uh, pretty excited about that. But in addition to just the courts, there's gonna be a pro center uh, here where they're gonna have you know racket stringing and uh, ball machine rentals, things like that. And uh, there's also an office and a concession stand here. And this is uh, actually right by Sunsplash uh, Family Water Park, which is also uh, interestingly enough, owned by the city and run by the city. And uh, we're over here in the southeast. If you don't know where that is, it's right off of Santa Barbara Boulevard, just south of Hancock Bridge Parkway. So uh, the southeast uh, is definitely getting their fair share of these Go Bond Park funds and uh, looking forward for the Lake Kennedy Racket Center to be completed here in just a couple of months. All right, this is a big one, and it's the only one actually that hasn't yet broken ground, but it looks like they're going to be starting this one in just a few months. 
Festival Park is by far the largest of the Gobon Park projects. It covers about 210 acres in the northwest section of Cape Coral. Uh, it's located between Nelson Road and Chiquita Boulevard just south of Wilmington Parkway, which is essentially just the northern border of the city where it meets the Yucapins Preserve. Uh, it's right next to the existing Seahawk Remote Controlled Aircraft Park, which actually is a neat park all unto itself and probably deserves its own video sometime. Uh, but the city's been slowly buying up land in this area for years, specifically for this project. First of all, there's going to be four massive multi-use sports fields with room for up to six more in the future, and those fields will all have lighting for night use. Uh, the bulk of the rest of the park will essentially just be grounds for large festivals and events, and the big feature there will be an outdoor concert venue. It's essentially just a large amphitheater with a big grass berm that will serve to hopefully keep the sound down for the surrounding neighborhoods there. Uh, now, the city just awarded the building contract for this project back in February, but they anticipate the groundbreaking to occur sometime this summer, and the total construction timeline is approximately 16 months for this large project, meaning we'll probably see it completed sometime late next year in 2025. Uh, but this is just one of many great new projects for the Northwest Cape, and I'll keep you updated on how things are progressing with Festival Park here. So there you go, some exciting things are happening in the city of Cape Coral, not just the private commercial developments that are coming in. I did a video a couple of weeks ago on those. If you haven't seen that, uh, maybe go over to the channel and uh, check that one out because there's some neat stuff happening on the commercial uh, private side developments uh, wise, but there's obviously also some great things happening with the city of Cape Coral as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. Maybe you didn't know beforehand. And if you did and you wouldn't mind, reach over and hit that like button. Uh, on this video. It really helps me out. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well, especially if you are thinking of moving to the area or you're just interested in Southwest Florida in general. Like I said, I do one of these videos every single week and I, I try to give you a lot of good, useful information. So hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And if you do need a realtor here in Southwest Florida, if you're buying or selling a property anywhere, please reach out to me. My contact information again is right down there in the description and you can call, text, or email me anytime. Whatever it takes, I'm happy to hear from you and I'm happy to talk with you and uh, hear about your real estate goals and maybe how I can help, uh, help you out with those. So thanks again for being here uh, and I'll see you on the next video in a few days. Like I said, do one of these every single week so I'll have the next one for you here in just a few days.